Hey y'all, Professor Wyman here. I'm going to show you how to do your scatter plot for your final project. This is an APA 7th edition style. Um, so I have created a new sheet. This should be in your group folder. Um, and the reason that we're using sheets instead of Jamovi is that I don't like the Jamovi graphing capabilities, but also because it's a lot easier for you to collaborate and have one graph that you work on together um, for your final paper and for your final presentation. So uh, when you start in Sheets, you will need to copy in your data from um, Jamovi, or you can export your data from Jamovi. I think copying it is the most straightforward um, for what you're using it for. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Um, so in Jamovi, I have an example here where I'm looking at the relationship between this GJSS total you can see here. Um, that's general job satisfaction scale. So this is job satisfaction. And then below it, I have this L WLBS, which is the work-life balance scale. Um, so I have a Pearson's R of 0.44. I have a p-value of 0 0.0055. And this is saying that there's a positive relationship between these two variables. So I should expect to see a scatter plot that moves up and to the right. Um, so for this, notice that I have some filters here. If I go to those two variables, if I go ahead and copy those two columns, it's gonna copy these filtered out people. So I, you have filters that you added um, to your Jamovi and you do not want to copy over data from people that you have filtered out of your data set. So this is a very important step. What you'll need to do is when you go to filters and you can click filters or you can just click on this filter, double click on it. You need to hide the filtered out people and so it says hide filter columns, but it also means that you're hiding the filtered people. So you can see that I'm just keeping um, people who are never married. And I'm looking at work-life balance and job satisfaction. So I need to highlight both of these. So I'm clicking and holding, dragging over, you can copy them individually if you want to, but I'm just gonna highlight them and I can right click and copy. You can do control or command C, whatever works for you but I want to go ahead and copy that into my um, scatter plot. So I'm gonna put the labels here. So we have work, life, balance. Ooh. And I wanna put it the way I want it to look in my graph. And then I'm gonna put job satisfaction. Satisfaction. I'm actually gonna say score for both of these just to be really clear. And I'm going to um, do command V, but you can do whatever you would like to do. You can copy and paste. Uh, you can go to edit and paste I mean, whatever works for you, but it's going to copy just the filtered um, responses here. So you can see, I only have uh, 32 people left in this data set. And if I look back at my, um, at my analysis, my degrees of freedom was 30. So I know that this is correct. I know I only copied the people that I wanted to. So now that that's done, you just need to highlight your two columns. So I'm gonna click and hold and then drag that over and drag it all the way down. And I'm just gonna highlight all of my data and that includes my data labels. Then you go to insert and chart. Normally it's gonna give you the correct chart. So that's what it should look like. Um, you should have dots. If for some reason it gives you some other chart, uh, like sometimes I'll get a line graph or a you know column chart, you want this scatter chart. Um, so if you don't see it under suggested, you can go down here and go to scatter, which is down here um, closer to the bottom, right? So now we wanna customize it. And you can go to customize, but you can also just click on the parts that you want to fix. So first of all, your chart title is going to be above your graph in your document. So we want to delete this. So you can just click on that and click delete. You can also, I'm gonna control Z, show you that again. Um, you can also delete it from here. So you can see chart and access titles. You can delete it there and it'll go away. Next, I want to fix my um, axes. So because I highlighted both variable names, you can see that the axis titles are correct. So I don't need to add them, but if I did, I could go here under chart and axis titles. I can go to horizontal axis. I can make edits there. I can actually just click on this and it'll come up automatically over here. I do wanna add a line 
um, a vertical line for my y-axis um, and I need to fix my work-life balance um, because it doesn't start at zero. So I need to fix that. So uh, we'll, we'll do a couple different things. Let's start with getting rid of these lines. So if you click on these lines, notice that it goes to grid lines and ticks. You want to unclick major grid lines and then click major ticks. And you wanna do the same thing for these. We're gonna click there. We're gonna unclick major grid lines. We're gonna add major ticks. And so you can see how um, that's a lot cleaner looking, right? If only that were the default Google Sheets people. And you're always listening to me, so maybe you could listen to this. Um, so what's next? Uh, next, let's go ahead and fix this. So here, and you can make an argument that for a scatter plot, it really doesn't matter. Um, it's not like we're looking at a bar graph and we have not started at zero, so it makes the relationship look more extreme. And you can see here that, you know, we can see this relationship pretty well, but we really should start at zero here. So I want to click on these numbers and then I'm going to click minimum and put that at zero. And that looks different, right? It actually changes the shape quite a bit. So you want to make sure that you're starting at zero for accuracy for both of your values. So start at zero for both of them. Um, I typically don't set my own maximum. I just have to edit the minimum and then it estimates the maximum pretty well, but you can always edit it if you want to. Um, I do, because this is a scatter plot, I want to add a line of best fit. So I'm going to go to series and I'm gonna add a trend line. And you can see that uh, represents a positive relationship, but there's a decent amount of movement from here. That's why our, um, that's why our, our R score, our Pearson's R isn't higher. So if it were one, it would be perfectly along this line, right? Which we would not get, that wouldn't be realistic. All right, so last couple things you can do here. You can change the colors. Um, so you can have them be colored for seventh edition APA, that's fine, or you could change them. So we could make them um, black if you want to. Uh, and that also changes your line color, which is nice. The other thing that we wanna do is we need to fix our font. So your font is probably gonna be Times New Roman. Um, and so if you go to chart style over here, you can change your default to serif, that's the same as Times New Roman. Um, and so then you can see that that's gonna match the text that you're gonna use in your paper. So we're done there, that's excellent. And you can copy this. So in this top right corner, if you click on the little three dots there, you can go to copy chart. Now this is what is really helpful about your, um, about using sheets. So we're gonna do figure one. I'm gonna give it a, um, a name, a figure one. So most of you should only have one figure. If you have another one, you'll just call it figure two and put them in order. Um, I'm gonna add a title. So I'm gonna say scatter plot showing the relationship and I'm using title case for the title. Can't spell today. Scatter plot showing the relationship between job satisfaction and work-life balance. And then I can right click and paste, or I can do control or command V. Um, but notice this is linked to spreadsheet and I'm gonna say, yes, I wanna keep it linked to spreadsheet, so paste. So now I have this document here. Um, I'm gonna make my figure one bold. I'm gonna make my title italics and I'm gonna make both of these double spaced, just like the rest of your paper. Um, but what's really handy is that let's say you get some feedback from me, like you have, let's say you left grid lines in um, and I told you you had to fix them, or maybe you miscopied your data over and it turns out that this one's actually a 15 and this one's a 30. Well, you don't have to recopy it and worry that you don't have the latest version. Notice that now you have an update option. And if you click update, it updated, that's this, that wasn't there before. So it updated and modified your chart so it's a really quick and easy um, way to make sure that you're on the right page. So this is what, oops, there we go. 
This is what you should have um, in your results and discussion section that you'll be submitting and you're gonna need this for your presentation. Make sure you ask your TA or me if you have any questions and that's all I have for you.